Tonight we're following through in Garfield Heights where in May leaders walked us through a plan to turn what they said were underutilized tennis courts into a place for people to shoot hoops and swing paddles. We want to make sure that we're giving the youth something to do. News 5 anchor Damon Maloney here now with the tales and the city's almost ready for a big ribbon cutting. Yeah, they're almost ready. There's a couple final pieces that still have to be installed, but they think that's going to happen in the next several weeks. And outdoor public hoops is something that new. There's something new in Garfield Heights there, and they're also excited to offer pickleball. Nine year old Gael spends a lot of his free time practicing his basketball skills and sinking shots at home with dad. He'd like to play more, but getting to an outdoor court isn't so convenient. We got to go 30 minutes away or 20 minutes away, 15 minutes away. To another it's, area. Yeah, yep. In May, I told you Garfield Heights didn't have any basketball courts at its parks. At that time, Parks and Rec Director Paul Burke walked me through plans to update Debelac Recreation Area right near the city pool. We're going to put basketball courts in here. We're going to put a pickleball court here. Monday, I was back to see progress. Cracks have been filled. There's new blacktop, and the pavement has been striped for two new basketball courts. We had them years and years ago at some of the school playgrounds, but I just felt the need, you know, this is where the interests have gone, so let's put it here and see how it works. The actual hoops, one set that's adjustable, should be delivered and installed before the end of the month. We were hoping to get this done a little sooner so we can enjoy the <laughs> basketball, but we might still be able to get a game or two on here. Gael and his father are excited to be able to play with others close to home. Oh yeah, we can walk through there, so it would be a very good idea. So is William Hill. Anything that gets the kids more engaged with each other, I'm always for. He says his son and others have been disappointed in the lack of options. I see kids going up and down the street all the time, just bouncing a basketball, but nowhere to play it. So they make do with what they've had. And in addition to the basketball courts, the rec area also has a pickleball court. It's really a good workout. The mayor sharing this video of city employees giving it a test run, and they had a few surprise spectators. We saw young mother with a couple of kids and the kid was just infatuated with them. I had him, we had him over here playing with us, just let him hit the paddle, stuff like that. About $170,000 in ARPA money awarded through the Cuyahoga County Council is paying for the updates, which include landscaping and new playground equipment here and at Forestdale Park. It's gonna, it's gonna be revitalized. It's gonna look really good when we're complete with everything. And the new courts and playgrounds are phase one of a $4 million citywide parks master plan. And Rob, the mayor, wants to develop a rec basketball league for the youngsters there and says that the investments are really about getting more use out of these public spaces and also driving kids to positive things in the community. And we'll be there for that ribbon-cutting ceremony. Can't wait. Great idea. Thanks, David. See you later.